Today, I'm going to make a coffee table. So I don't really need a coffee table, but I've wanted to experiment with this type of aesthetic for a minute now. designing this I wanted something asymmetrical for the base so as I laid out the cut up rods I was not super precise to the shape of it I had a loose idea of the angles but I wasn't super strict to my plans welding the frames together wasn't too bad because I had an easy access to the connections but when it came time to weld the bases together is when it got a little tricky But I mean, it's a set of hands right now, so I gotta try and prop it up. Even though the setup was kind of janky, the level gave me a chance to tack the pieces of rod together, which eventually allowed me to go back in after and finish them up with better welds. <laughs> For the tabletop, I wanted to do two things. One, keep it simple because the base is the more interesting part about the project. Secondly, was to use the rest of this black lamina I had left over from my dining table build. My circular saw could not cut through these two layers of plywood, so I ended up doing a series of shallow cuts to gradually cut through the edge, but this took forever. So the next day I broke out the table saw and this sped up the process a lot. The top was just too big to fit on the table saw, so I moved back to the circular saw, hoping it would be easier to cut after it's a little fit the night before. And one of the details I did want to make on the tabletop was to chamfer the edges. This kind of got messed up later on in the build, and you'll see why, but the thought was there. Also, this is Joey. Joey needed to come over and see what all the noise was. 
At this point, I was almost pushing the saw to cut the chamfer, so I just decided to cut my losses and quit the circular saw. I went and pulled out the Japanese pool saw to cut the last little bit off. On the next side, I broke out a different circular saw and it tore right through the boards. I sanded the sides, top and bottom to 220 grit to get a nice smooth finish. The laminate top is also really easy to apply. All you have to use is contact cement and a roller. Once you apply the contact cement to either side and connect them, they're not going anywhere. The sheet of laminate I had was definitely oversized for the tabletop, so I had to trim it to size. I brought out my palm router with a flush trim bit. This way I could follow the edge of the table and trim the laminate exactly to it. <laughs> but this is where I made a dumb mistake. I forgot which way the router is supposed to be running, and I ended up going the wrong way, and this took a big chunk out of the side of the table. So the easiest solution I had was to actually just cut that piece off the table. Um, I ended up losing the chamfer edges on the ends, but I don't think that ruins the aesthetic too much. <laughs> I could have cut a bevel on the bottom now with the two new clean sides, but I was kind of over the project at this point, so I just let things be. After I drilled some holes in the straps, the base is ready to be painted. running down the top ring to make sure there's a nice level surface that the top would be sitting on. And I wanted the base to match the top so I went for the matte black spray paint. So I didn't see how much spring and bend was in the base until I rewatched this video, but I still feel like it was pretty sturdy while I was standing on it. wrapped up. <laughs> I really like the aesthetic of the legs a lot on this one. And if anything, I think the table might be just a bit too low and doesn't show enough of the legs. 
then for the top itself, I will never get tired of these laminated plywood edges. Always so cool to look at. Thank you.